so excited to be making crab rangoon. Um, can I just tell you, it ain't a Thai dish. It's not a Chinese dish because they don't use cream cheese. So it's actually been Americanized. Imagine that. But it's such a such a big hit. People love it. So you're going to need about a cup of crab meat. Mine's fresh caught as always because you know that's just how I roll. Then you're gonna need some cream cheese, okay? You will need um, some Worcestershire. I just, someone teach me how to say it. I have such a hard time with it. And then you want some garlic and onion powder, lemongrass, some ginger, and a lime, okay? And guys, and of course, you're going to need some wontons. And we're gonna put it all together. And if you have it, Seeing how I fault my dumplings don't because it's actually pretty scary. But I'm going to come back. I'm going to show you how we put all the things together with the crab meat. And mm, guys, you, you're going to love it. It tastes so freaking good. My ginger. And I cut up my lemongrass and guys, I don't know if you know, but if you save like about an inch of it and it still has this root part to it, stick it in some water and then it'll actually sprout and put it in your backyard. They're so hardy and you can grow them all year long. Next thing you're going to need is a lime, the zest of a lime. And I don't know if you guys know how to zest a lime, but I'm gonna show you the proper way. You go along, yeah, along, not like this, just like that, yeah, okay? That's all you have to do. All right, yep. guys, so once you put it in here, add your Worcestershire sauce right in there kind of give it oh my god I'm almost out what it's okay I'll add more later so anyways you're gonna do this and you're gonna blend it it just makes it so much easier when you do it this way just let you know there you go. all right so now you have your cream cheese in here okay and you're gonna scoop out that little hot mess that you just made. See, I don't come prepared. Because I'm cooking like 10 meals today. Who knows why? No. So you guys can enjoy them, actually. <laughs> this is not what you use to scoop this out. Like, that is a major blooper. Oh, good gracious. <sighs> All right. Right one. Right one. Yeah. Should have stuck to the wooden spoon. What was I thinking? go and honestly you could have added garlic in there if you wanted to but that right there alone has enough flavor and then you want some salt well that's garlic powder that's not salt you want onion powder and then you want your meat and you want to mix this first before you add that meat all right that way you get all those spices mixed up in there. Oh my God, this is gonna taste so good. I can't wait. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Y'all know I love to play around, right? All right, so we're gonna add our cheese. I, this is not cheese. This is actually uh, crappy. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Good gracious. But yeah, all right, we're gonna mix it up. And we'll come back, and guess what we're going to do? We're going to put them together. All right, guys. I'll see Hi, you guys. Too. I'm back. Are you ready? Look. Look at that. I know it looks so good. You know what? Add a little bit of Old Bay in there. Yeah. It won't make it quite a, uh, whatchamacallit, Thai per se. But you're going to need at least half a tablespoon we're gonna try half a tablespoon, but I'm gonna tell you it might be too much. Usually I would try a teaspoon, but we'll give it a shot and see. 
and I'll actually do a close-up for you guys so you can actually see what it looks like. I know it's going to be so good because once we're done with this, oh my God, guys, that crab meat. It's like having that hot crab dip, right? So, with this, because I actually bought the wrong kind, I'm folding from the edges like this and just tucking it in. Just like that. Ooh, this one's a little dry. Maybe because I left it sitting out. I don't know. That looks pretty rough. Let's try again. Not like it ain't going to be cooked, though, because I'm going to eat it. Look at that hot mess. All right, let's try another one. What is with me? Actually, that was a pretty good size, wasn't it? So it wasn't too bad. I think I'd still go for, I don't know. Uh, a teaspoon. That was a table, half a tablespoon. I'm losing my voice. Why? I don't know. But look, so you pinch at the top there together. You push in the corner, okay? You push in the corner like that. And then you're going to line them up just like this. They're sticking to my hands today. But anyways, guys, I'm going to finish up. I'm going to show you how to really do them. And then we'll come back and cook them up. Because they're going to go in the pan with about an inch of oil. And then they're going to go in the oven. to go down yep we got crab meat galore fried everything and you're dipping that in that cream of crab soup right yeah your, your crab ragoon she crab soup mm -hmm. hey wait well that's a good idea oh. what mm. I, uh, <laughs> let me try you don't touch my food. That don't taste good with that. <laughs> That's an egg roll. <laughs> 